Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about graphing quadratic functions using transformations, specifically a horizontal shift. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. In our previous video, we talked about a vertical shift and how the k value changed the function, well, vertically. Well, now we're going to talk about a horizontal shift. We have our basic quadratic function, and our new equation that talks about the horizontal shift is this. f of x equals the parentheses x minus h all squared right there. And the h value is what causes this function to shift horizontally. Now, it's a little tricky here, okay? Let's go see what the rules are. If h is greater than zero, shift the parabola horizontally right h units. If h is less than zero, shift the parabola horizontally left absolute value of h units. So let's go test this really quickly with a quick little equation here and see if you can guess which way this should shift. If my function is f of x equals a x, let's say minus three squared. Which way should this function shift horizontally? Let me know down in the comment section below. But we're going to go dive in and answer that right now. What is our h value? A common mistake right here is students will see that this is a minus 3 and think the h value is a negative 3 and say, hey, we shift the parabola to the left 3 units. But that would be incorrect. Notice our base form of the function here is a minus whatever h value is. Our h value doesn't include the subtraction sign. And so our h value is actually a positive 3, and this will shift the parabola to the right 3 units. If we had a function like this, f of x, or f of x equals x plus 3 squared, that actually would give us an h value of a negative 3, because subtracting a negative creates that positive, and that's when we would shift the parabola horizontally to the left, 3 units. So one of the things I like to think about when graphing these transformations is whenever something happens like inside of something, like inside of parentheses, you almost want to think the opposite. So let's go hop on to MapleLearn to see this shift more visually and in action. So again, we're going to go to learn.maplesoft.com and again, we bring up this nice little toolkit that uh, MapleSoft has created for free here. We're going to type in our function y equals parentheses x minus h here squared. And again, we have this little graph here, but we're going to give it some parameters. We hit the uh, light bulb here, and we parameterize the variable h. Notice we have a basic graph, and we can move this over here, closer to our graph, so we get a better view of this. Well, let's go change some rules again. So we're going to hit the little gear icon. We have continuous from negative 10 to 10. Great, but I don't want it to continuous. Turn that off here. I want to go by steps. It makes it a little easier to see. Let's go change the zooming on our graph here. We're going to zoom vertically right now, just to kind of zoom in to get a little better feel of what's going on. We'll zoom in more, just pretty easy. Just use a scroll wheel on your mouse if you have it. All right, let's go lock this current view here. All right, pretty simple and self-explanatory. So we want to start with, again, our base function y equals x squared. So let's go make a new one. Just y equals x squared. Very easy to type here. Now, what happens, again, we talked about here, we're doing a horizontal shift. And this was a tricky part we had just mentioned. When we're inside the parentheses, remember that negative sign here, all right, is separate than the h value. So if h becomes one, what happens? Can you guess it? Positive one? We're shifting to the right one unit. Our h value is a positive one, but our equation here is y equals x minus one all squared. And we can see this keeps on going keep sliding on over, and we can easily see that when h is 8, our same exact y equals x squared gets slid over all the way to y, uh, to the x value of 8, 8 right there, or h value, and we keep on going all the way over to the left, just go negative. Now notice again, a negative 4. When h is a negative 4, our equation is in parentheses y, or y equals parentheses x plus 4, right? Subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. 
square. And our graph gets shifted to the left, okay? So let's just go see a simple one here. Uh, we have, well, plus a minus four. Let's go graph what happens if we had a y equals, we can see the uh, range of this, x minus four, parentheses, all squared. And now we can see the ranges here. We have our green function right here, the slider one, and y uh, when h is negative four right here. Here h is a zero and the darker blue function right here, right? There's like a, a minus zero there we talked about. And then it's the h value, and then again, a, net, a positive four right here in the light blue. And you can see that right there. If you want to explore this tool more, go to learn.maplesoft.com and you can access this graphing tool math feature thing for free. And as always, thanks for watching.